On this Veterans Day, we salute our veterans. And the state's newest retirement home for vets is finally open. We got a tour today, but something very important is missing. Veterans. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has been investigating the delays for more than a year. And Lauren, you finally are getting some answers. That's right, Brad. A little bit of clarity today. We learned that the Chicago Veterans Center has been a topic of conversation at the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs since 1998. Well, 22 years later, that vision is still technically unfulfilled despite a ribbon cutting here earlier today. Welcome to the Illinois Veterans Home Chicago. That's a greeting Senator Tammy Duckworths waited 12 years to hear. The combat army veteran took stock of the new Chicago Center intended for 200 of her comrades in their sunset years. Did it go all the way through to uh, Alzheimer's care as well? Correct. Okay. Right before the tour, Duckworth reflected on her command from 2008 as the head of the Illinois Department of Veteran Affairs. We need a veterans home because the waiting list is 2,000 veterans long. Turns out they'll have to keep waiting. Two, one. Despite a grand opening, no military man or woman will be sleeping in this bed until 2021. Six years after breaking ground, the delays in building this retirement home haven't been a secret, from funding fights to the budget impasse to design flaws. This project has met its fair share of challenges. But why did the state list the $120 million taxpayer-funded project as complete six months ago if nobody can use it yet? What has been the delay for residents moving in? Do you want to take that, Linda? The state clarified that construction was finished this spring, but the pandemic complicated the checklist inside. We changed ventilation protocols. Um, we had to do some things with the HVAC systems, and we put in UV lights in the ductwork. So this artwork is interactive. CBS2 asked to see other floors during the tour, but they're not ready. We're in the process of getting our furnishings. We're told the state will put a priority on service members already living in Illinois veterans homes, ones with families that live in the Chicago area that until now have been traveling to Mantino or Quincy. Applications to move in here will open up in December. The first residents are expected in February. Of course, we will monitor that timeline. For now reporting live in Dunning, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News.